after the Second World War, the communists took over in uh, the Czechoslovak Republic and my parents and some other family members decided they had better leave. So they escaped to America. Of course, this meant uh, leaving behind virtually all their possessions. But fortunately, our family in uh, Czech Republic kept some of the bits and pieces and we received them when the uh, communists got kicked out uh, in 1990. And this particular one, which I'm going to show you today, is in my possession. So let's see what we have here. It's a pipe. And it was the possession of one of my ancestors about four generations back. Toto je dýmka, u které kouř, z které kouřil dědeček Pfeiffer. Uh, umřel asi 1918. This is the pipe which grandfather Pfeiffer used to smoke and he died in about 1918. And we even have his business card here. Anton Pfeiffer, Gräflich und von und zu Downshare uh, Oberförster IP. So he was a head forester for the uh, Down area. The was a count was in charge there. As you can see, <laughs> it even has a few bits of uh, tobacco left. Has a nice lid so with holes in it so you can smoke it with the pipe closed opens this way and uh, you can still smell the smoke in there and as you can see it's beautifully carved some hard wood and it shows the uh, deer and the trees and of course the hunter shooting it he even has a dog it's really beautifully carved then the, the uh, bottom part shows a tree a hare and, and a hunting dog and i suppose you're supposed to hold it by this knobby thing and you'd even hang it around your neck like that. There's also a, like a birch stem, which I suppose goes in here. And the mouthpiece, which is broken off, which went in the top like that. And the funny thing about this mouthpiece is you can still see the uh, impression of the uh, of my ancestor ancestor's teeth as he used to habitually hang the thing in his mouth isn't that amazing it's a little piece of family history and i'm very proud that i'm allowed to keep it as its guardian <laughs>